Hey there, friends. It's Jen Pitta with By the Shore Stamping. Welcome into another Teach Me Tuesday video. Today, I'm going to do something a little bit different because um, we have a brand new suite that's available. It's a suite that's actually coming uh, out in the new annual catalog on June 1st. And speaking of that, if you haven't already let me know, I'll be ordering my catalogs today. So if you'd like me to send you one, be sure to send me a quick email at jenpitta at comcast.net so I can get you on that list for a new catalog. But anyway, this stamp set and this suite that I'm going to show you is actually part of the new annual catalog that comes out June 1st. But Stampin' Up! is allowing customers, that means you, to purchase um, this stamp set in advance. So you can pre-order it just like I can. In fact, um, we pre-ordered this last month so that I could start playing with it. And today is actually a big day because it's the annual catalog um, pre-order for demonstrators. So if you're a demonstrator, you actually get to see um, some of the new, brand new product from June. And you can order beginning today so you can prep and plan and, and play with your new goodies before the launch of the new catalog on June 1st. If you'd like to get your hands on some of that new goodies and see what's available uh feel free to send me a message because you can do the starter kit, which is just $99, free shipping, and then you pick $125 worth of product of your choice to be included in that starter kit. And um, some of that, or actually all of that, could be the new annual catalog product or the stuff that I'm showing you today. Um, so if that sounds interesting to you, give me a quick shout at jenpitta at comcast.net and we can chat. But anyway, let's get back on to today's feature, which is the Eastern Palace uh, bundle. There's actually two bundles. There's a starter bundle and then the premiere bundle. And of course, I did the premiere bundle because uh, I always go big or go home, right? Um, but let me show you what's in the starter bundle first. It's this stamp set, which honestly, it doesn't look like a whole lot when you look at it, but it actually is pretty fun to play with. Um, it's the Eastern Palace Designer Series paper, and I'll show you just little swatches of that here. So this is the paper. It is a specialty paper, so it's got some foil accents. So these are the paper. This paper line was actually designed with, um, here, let me move this over, with a peacock. They were using a peacock as inspiration, and I think you can kind of see that inspiration in this paper, particularly that one. Looks like peacock feathers. Um, there's just some really pretty, bold, fun designs. What's really cool um, here is the two foil pieces. So you get a blue um, background with the gold, gold foil and then this feathery kind of pattern with the gold foil. What's really cool about this um, suite is that it features three of the new ink colors. So you'll see, obviously, this is a brand new color for us. It's Lemon Lime Twist. This here is Fresh Fig, and this green color is called Tranquil Tide. So these are all brand new colors that will be part of the In Color collection for 2017 through 19. So that's kind of cool. So the stamp set, the paper, these cool new stickers. So these are gold vinyl stickers. They're really um, sturdy, they're thick, um, they're self-adhesive. So they're kind of fun. You can see I've used some, and I'll show you some samples in a minute. Um, so those, the new, um, the three new ink colors, the Fresh Fig, the Lemon Lime Twist, and the Tranquil Tide are all part of this starter bundle, as well as some very vanilla note cards and envelopes, which are brand new in the new catalog. And because I didn't get the starter bundle, I didn't get those. Um, but they're just like our regular note cards and envelope packages, except they're in the very vanilla color. So that will be your starter bundle, and that's $60.50 to do that one. Now, if you wanted to do the Premier Bundle, you would get the three ink pads, the DSP, the stickers, the stamp set, plus we'd add in the um, Eastern Palace coordinating cardstock, so you get three colors, eight of each of the three coordinating colors. Two of them are the new colors, so you get the Fresh Fig and the Tranquil Tide, as well as the Dapper Denim. We'd also add in these really fun, cute, um, Eastern elegance, or no, Eastern Palace mini tassels, which will be fun for a lot of different projects. You get um, the thinlets that coordinate with this suite. Um, oops, I'm missing one because I played with it. Here you go. So there's this side, and then you get all of these on the back side as well. Lots and lots of options, and I'll show you some layering with that too. And... Um, when you purchase the 
starter bundle, the one I showed you first, you actually get those vanilla note cards and envelopes for free. And when you purchase this premier one, you get your vanilla envelopes and a package of the new thick vanilla cardstock, which makes great card bases for free. So these two would be free if you buy the starter bundle, uh, the premier bundle, which is the one I just showed you with the, the um, thinlets and the mini tassels and the extra cardstock. And that one is 103.50. All right, so now let me kind of get crafty here and show you a little bit of what you can do with this stamp set and paper. So obviously this um, stamp set has sort of a Indian kind of flair, like that, um, I guess, like India look. It's got like kind of those bright, bold color schemes. Just to me, it reminds me of that kind of flair. But you can also pull it apart and really make sort of simple, elegant kind of bright and bold card. So this is using the framelits dies and I used the flower petal one and the outside one that will cut it out too so I get a full flower. You could just um, do the flower part and have it cut out um, these little guys but it would be on a piece of cardstock so like right in the middle of the cardstock. So that's that one. I love this pattern. It's one of my favorites. And then this is great for masculine cards as well. You can see this here. So this is the gold foil paper that I did in the background. Um, that's one of the specialty sheets. And then these are, this is one of the gold stickers. I also used one of those in the center of this little flower. And then just the stamp set. And I was layering the circles from the stamp set, so I used those too. Um, it's photopolymer, so it's great for lining stuff up. And then this is the card that I really wanted to show you today because it's going to give you even more versatility with this card set. So this really goes outside of the stamp set, rather. This really goes outside the realm of that um, bold, eastern kind of look that you get with the stamp set traditionally. So what I wanted to show you, and this is actually a little tip that um, another fellow demonstrator shared on her page recently, or actually in a demonstrator training, uh, training site, using this stamp set, this image here. So you'll notice this one, this flower here, does not exist anywhere in this stamp set. So even though this stamp set doesn't say it's a two-step stamp, this one actually is, and it's a three-step stamp. So you get a lot of versatility, a lot of building options with this. So what I did to create that was, um, this was, um again, from Lissa, and her, I don't know how to say her last name, it's begins with a Z, but it's uh, really tough to say, so I'm not going to try because I'll ruin it. But she gave me this this little tip here. So here is your original image. Now, if you stamp it twice, you get this. So once, and now I'm just going to kitty corner it a little bit, do a little bit off center, and do it again, and you get that, okay? We can do it a third time. So now we have this. We're going to do it again. And because this is photopolymer, it's super easy to get it lined up. And now I'm going to do it a third time. And look at that. You've got a fun, like, spirograph image. So think of all the fun this would be for... Oh, crud. I just dumped this silly little ink pad right on my lap with my jeans. I'm not even wearing black today. Ay, ay, ay. Um, sorry about that. So think of all the fun and excitement you can do with this set using this as kind of a coloring palette. Um, so we have guys, we have, you know, masculine cards. We have this fun, frilly, kind of girlyish card. And I used my watercolor pencils and my blender pen to color the middle of this. And I'll show you a little trick with that too in a second. Um, but uh, I just kind of made it look into a big flower, which is kind of fun and bright. And I have a little trick for that too. But imagine if you were, if you had a colorer, a kid in your life, you can do multiples of these, do a whole sheet of them, wrap them up as like little note cards with some coloring pencils, watercolor pencils. Our watercolor pencils are fabulous. Um, and this would be a great little gift if you could give like a little five pack and maybe like um, a stamp set that has a greeting of some sort and they could just make an assortment of simple, easy coloring cards that um, not only could you brighten the day of whoever is getting the card, but you could brighten the day of the person who actually gets to make those and color those if they're a big coloring fan, which I am. So let me show you a little um, tip that I used uh, with this too couple of things. So I used the Pacific Point because it was kind of the closest color to the Dapper Denim. And then I used the old, old Olive, but the Old Olive is pretty dark. So um, as far as this is concerned, it's very simple. I just did really light touch 
with the middle here and just colored all my flowers like that. And then I used my blender pen to blend that color. This little blender pen is a must have if you do any of the watercoloring with the watercolor pencils. Okay, so with the green, I didn't want it to be quite as bold and dark as um, the old olive. So what I did was I took my white pencil that comes in the kit and I actually laid that down first. So you won't really be able to see it, but you just kind of have to keep track of where you went. And then I lightly did some old olive on top of it. Now I knew I wasn't going to be able to get it as light and bright as that lemon lime twist, but by adding a little bit of white in there first, you can actually dilute the green. So this I did a really light green, so it's coming out super light. Now once that's kind of dry, you can actually go in and sort of, um, oops, do it a little bit darker. So again, I just went down with the white first, and it doesn't probably matter. You could probably do the green first and lay the white on top. And then we did this. On top, I'm going to do a little bit darker because I want it to be a little more green. And then I just took my blender pen and blended that all together. So then you can um, get a little bit lighter color. So it's like having multiple colors with this white in here. It's just like when you're mixing paint and you want pink and you only have red. You mix pink and red together and you get pink. No, red and white together and you get pink. Sorry about that. Um, so same idea with these. You can really make any number of colors by just mixing and blending the colors. I'm going to go over this a little bit more and then I'll just re-blend again. The only thing you want to be careful of is not to go over the same spot too much because um, the blender pen will make your paper pill. But because this is the thick, um, very the thick, very vanilla cardstock, it's actually a little more um, forgiving with that. It doesn't actually pill as quickly because it's a little bit thicker. So that's that. And then the last thing I wanted to show you for this card that I did was the Life Is Beautiful. So if you look at the stamp set. Um, you'll see the stamp is actually curved. And the beauty of these photopolymer stamp sets is the fact that they're see-through and that you can kind of, they're pliable, so you can kind of play with them. So I have my little block here, and normally when you're putting on a stamp, I would tell you not to put it on this way. I would have you put it down on your paper like this, or your um, station, and then push the stamp down on top of it. And the reason why is you're gonna get the authentic shape and um, treatment of the stamp if you put, do it that way. If you do it this way, we have the tendency to kind of spread them out and stretch, and then therefore the image is not authentic the way we want it to be and pictured in the book. But in this case, I wanted this to be straight. So I intentionally put this on the block and straightened it out so that the words would be straight across the bottom because I wanted a long image like that. So I took that and I straightened this out. You need to make sure you've got it pushed down well and then um, I usually test it so you can see down here along a straight edge I usually test it to make sure it's straight and this one obviously is not. I did much better when I put it on the first time so I'm just going to go ahead and adjust that a little bit and try that again, see if I got it straight this time. And I'm just using the edge of my block here and lining it up with the edge of this grid paper to see if it's straight. That one's much better, except it goes up a little tiny bit on the end. Honestly, when I did this one, I did it first shot. I don't know why I'm not being able to get this straight right off the bat. But there you go, there you go, third time is the charm. So you can see that I got a nice straight line now because I mounted it onto my block that way. So again, you have a ton of versatility with this stamp set. So you can see the variety of cards. And then, like I said, it's got tons of coloring options with that other um, multiple stamping technique too, where you can start with one, go to two, go to three. And you can probably do that with um, you know this image as well, kind of give yourself some 
options there too. Love the font too. So this is a great, great bundle and I'm so excited to be able to play with it. I just started playing with it today and already I'm coming up with tons of ideas. So I think you'll love it too. If you'd like to purchase one of the bundles, I'll list them in the description of the video below and you can go ahead and do that um, through May 31st. And of course, it'll be in the new annual catalog in June as well. So thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and we'll see you next week with Teach Me Tuesday. Bye-bye.